Hi guys. I'm sorry about the abrupt ending of my um I will just say part 1 video because I was I was just into talking and something I just cut off like that and I don't want to it's so nice outside and I don't want to um stitch these two videos so I'm just going to make this a part 2, okay? So uh, yeah, so I apologize about that. Uh, it was the alarm that bothers me. But this um okay this is part two and you see this um there's two buds in here these are the extension of the secondary spike of this beautiful gorgeous miniature palanopsis. Look at the la the line, uh outline in that thing. So just awesome. Yeah. Let me include some of my some of my um, orchid companion plants as well. This is um, one of the hoya that I my hoya collections only consists of three plants. So two of them I already um, repotted, including this hoya kiriai. Yeah, I repotted with this um, hanging basket, and pretty soon I'm gonna repot the other one too. The the hoya um. In the rope hoya it just got done blooming I didn't video it because I thought it can wait for the April tour but I mean update but I didn't yeah but look at beautiful heart shape Hindu rope hoya yeah and I got more plants in here African violets and I got them um, something that belongs outdoors uh, that blooming and I have um, badly. I have um, bloom of the new mini files right there. It's brand new open. Yeah. I have uh, another catacetum in there. My little, my miniature, like very, very small catacetum noir beauty, something like that. I think it died. It's like, uh, I did not check on it, but it was so dehydrated that I think. I think it just shriveled to nothing so I think that was a garner it's still in there it looks nice but when I touch the uh, press the inside I think it turned into something but this but this one here I forgot the name so um it's growing like crazy pretty soon I'm gonna give that a little bit of water now too I don't want it to um, um, shrivel so bad and that's my other um, um, swan orchid, uh, the signo, this Taiwan called orange. It started as well. She is awake. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the gold room. And look at that, guys. She's still around. Yeah, I, keep, I sniffed her yesterday, but no scent whatsoever. I don't know if I, I'm hoping it's not dark because like it's bright in the background you know look at that still blooming there's black ants and they're like sucking all the nectar yeah I don't want the black ant to stay in this room for sure so gorgeous guys this is my uh, species dendrobium Dendrobium thirstiflorum. Look at that. There's another one. Yeah. I'm hoping you get this because this one, this baby is hanging in here. Yeah. She's hanging. Let me see. Yeah. She's still around. <laughs> So excited about her, yeah. Nice. This is the full extent on that on that plant. It's quite large plant, yeah. And the one beside it, yeah. I'm into that kind of basket now. That's my Maxillaria tunifolia. It has uh, just two buds. Oh, I hope it's not dark, man. There's um I repotted it in there. Yeah. 
Oh, see, I think it's dark, guys. I'm sorry about that. Whew. Can't believe it. It's it's quite warm in here. In this side of the room, it's like uh, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And in this side here, it's um, 79. Oh, my God, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, okay. We'll see. We'll start this. Oh, I'm really into uh, like repotting a lot of stuff now, including this symbidium here the green the yellow green one with um very light yellow lip beautiful look at that i repot in the bigger pot so gorgeous like that and my old my oldest one there's two spikes the slightly fragrant one i just i don't want to move that one because there's a lot of hindrance and I don't want to break off the, uh, the the flowers or spike like that so see that's very big now in there and that's the second spike right there and by the way the buds that one's still not open like that and this baby here yeah this is the first one that opened this is the Dendrobium Fancy Angel Lacy. Look at that, guys. I really, really need to get them out, start going them, bring out because, like, um, I need to spray them with nib oil again because when they're outside, I regularly use nib oil to um, prevent uh, spider mites and bugs I mean pests like that because um, I don't like them that's why I keep wearing gloves I just don't like them and then uh, now in while they're all winter they're inside in the house all winter long I don't spray name oil well because first of all they stink and I have very sensitive nose I don't want my nose to bleed so I can't in the winter season I can't spray them so um, that's why the millie bugs are coming in like crazy and they hide right there in the, in the looks like the lower portion that's hidden in the the, the leaf leaf axle yeah like that but this one here is so gorgeous isn't it gorgeous guys so gorgeous close up of this baby yeah but anyway, I, I can't wait for them to go outside so that I can um, apply Nim Oil again. Yeah, Nim Oil, it has a mighty side in that thing and fun fungicide and other side side in that thing. So three in one organic style. And I use that for my fruit trees too. Yeah, young fruit trees. So I'm fine with the, with my organic gardening with the Nim Oil. So I use that with my um, orchids. Yeah, when they are outside. So, uh, oh, the one behind, that's the Dendrobium Supermodel Platinum. Oh, look at the center, the eyes, that guys, is a uh, beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes. And it's also bigger blooms compared to the Angel Lacy. That's very small. And look at the eyes. Stare at the eyes. Look at the eyes, guys. The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Look at that. And look at, compared to the eyes of the supermodel platinum look at that if it would focus it would really be gorgeous yeah and it's she is a very large bloom oh my arms tired and the spikes right there <laughs> that's dancing that oh thank you fan for turning off yourself yeah it's domatic and that's, that's from my um, pink bees, the Rix Vandeldin and Sidium pink bees. Yeah, it's uh, getting longer and working on the spy uh, individual buds now. Look at that, only two. Well, let me see. This is my Dendrobium Kurashiki um, yesterday. And look at this one. See, I told you guys because it's. um. They really need to be out now. There's uh, the remnants of the that white powder in there. Sticky. It's a remnant of the beginning of the 
fist attack because um I don't I don't spray him well during um the winter here they counted as six six months so I don't spray it but when they're outside I regularly spray them that's why I won't get um spider mites and and other bug but when they are like this um it's it's um it's spring already but it's not really quite ready outside so they're in here so the bugs are alive again i don't know how they survive even you know they're magical creatures so that's why they're coming in so i really desperately want them to go outside pretty soon and this is the by the way the the buds of the dendrobium kurashiki very tiny um compact miniature nobili type dendrobium the tallest of this cane is only i measured it i use uh, it's only 11 inches about that size 11 inches long and the buds are so tiny guys the buds there there and there's some more in the back they are really tiny and a very very low count bloom of this um dendrobium red emperor yeah i have two of them one is free from the yamamoto dendrobium and the other one i purchased from um or orchids by hauserman uh look at them they are conspiring against me like they only gave me two buds and i didn't even ask them to give me buds they just conspire against me i think just tease me this one also have two but the plant itself is out i mean they're both healthy but look at the eyes and these guys they're fuzzy 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 and look at that look at like tricolor eyes focus please Oh, we're gonna. I swear, I'm gonna. I'm gonna dump you. Focus. Oh, come on. Oh, don't embarrass me. I'm sorry, guys. It's just mad about something. Oh, and this one. That guys. That one. She's still. This spike. It has its beginning of the third season and it's still growing, guys. How long can this cane gonna gonna be? It's very, very long already and this the third season is still not done growing and it managed to uh, make me happy and give me uh, two, four, six, eight buds. I mean, eight blooms very um small count for this one but like i said it, i didn't expect it anyway because the cane's still growing and this um bald another older cane in here it managed to um what um i think that's a spike i think or maybe a cakey i don't know but look at the bloom this is my dendrobium oriental smile butterfly look at that guys it's small but fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy look at the center of that eye let's see so we for the shakiness i was tip, i'm tiptoeing and i can't seem to get my balance right there very beautiful yeah look at that let me see if i can just be still for a minute Look at that guys so gorgeous yeah and I featured this one this uh butterfly gloxinia that I planted from my own cuttings yeah look at this very gorgeous center and it has a new one look at guys this one just opened just opened so gorgeous 
and until until now guys this big monster right here my my katatante it still only have two spikes and i've been watching the the spike make sure that there is no um mealybugs eggs or something in there my god this is really late for this blooming because the, she grows so much babies in there that cannot concentrate to just like matured one at a time just a bunch of there and i cut a lot of leaves because of the cold damage yeah but two spikes and this is my white unexpected um bloom for this one guys because the new spikes is not even as tall as the previous one but it managed to um squeeze out some uh, two four six eight eight blooms i'm just waiting for the um if there's a pinkening on the tip on this one this then this um orchid dendrobium would be the spring dream apollon because i read what's a description of the spring dream apollon in the yamamoto website so this one looks like it has a blush of pink in the um tip yeah so that could be it but i'm not sure yet i have to make sure um watch it again when it's um matured it's still very young bloom and look at that that's the center of this one greenish with a that the throat is like blush pink yeah yeah very pure white so beautiful and this one guys probably the last bloom that i will show you um this is my dendrobium pink pink rabbit grace look at that yeah gorgeous guys she's huge 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 look at the beautiful eyes as well like the center come on so gorgeous guys she's huge huge bloom and it's gonna be um big plant too when the when the time comes my goodness gorgeous yeah and and uh do you have slight slight um fragrance too yeah in here but if they are in the sunlight out there they are their perfume beautiful beautiful perfume fragrance look at that guys oh oh my gosh i don't want to have a favorite in my collection but this one really catches my eye yeah and i'll show you one that has um bud i mean uh spikes let me see that one in there guys yeah look at that it's still in the spike and i really need to um oh i was wrong not just one this one too there's a spike or nabin can't wait for them bring outside so that i can spray them with neem oil again it's about time yeah let me see let's go back to where um and end the video there's the one something beautiful that one guys so far my pride and joy it's so big okay guys um thank you for watching and enjoy your spring